Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn one problem from the topic trigonometry. If phi x is equals to secant theta, phi by x equals to tan theta, then what is the value of phi into x square minus 1 by x square? So, related to secant and tan, we know by an identity that is secant square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1. This is the identity we know. Now here secant is there here secant square is there here tan is there here tan square is there so it means for the given two values we need to do squaring on both the sides let us take the first one phi x is equals to secant theta so squaring on both the sides phi x whole square is equals to secant theta whole square Phi x whole square twenty phi x square is equals to secant theta whole square secant square theta. Next, phi by x the second one is equals to tan theta. Again, squaring on both the sides. Phi by x whole square is equals to tan theta whole square. Phi by x whole square. 25 by x square equals to tan theta whole square tan square theta. Now this is the first equation. This is the second equation. According to our identity, secant square theta minus tan square theta. So the first equation minus second equation. First equation is 25 x square equals to secant square theta. And second equation is 25 by x square is equals to tan square theta. Now I will do subtraction of these two equations. So here we have 25 x square equals to secant square theta. 25 by x square equals to tan square theta. According to our identity, secant square theta minus tan square theta, right? So do subtraction of these two equations. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to first one minus second one. 25 x square minus 25 by x square. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is 1, which is equals to 25 x square minus 25 by x square. So what he is asking exactly? Then find the what is the value of phi times x square minus 1 by. So here 1 equals to in the first term 25 is there, in the second term also 25 is there. So I will take out 25 common. So remains with x square minus 1 by x square. Next, 1 equals to 25 can be written as 5 into 5 times of x square minus 1 by x square. We want the value of 5 into x square minus 1 by x square. So bring 5 this side. So x square minus 1 by x square times of 5 is equals to 1 by 5. Thank you.